<laughs> okay, let's breathe. Let's breathe. The screen went totally blank. Just a minute. Black. I don't understand that. Well, anyway, I am Rosa J. Doing it God's way each and every day. Coming to you from Washington, D.C. Southeast. Yes, yes. I am in the house. So I'm actually coming from my <clears throat> personal page. Excuse me. From my personal page. I just came in the house from an event. Uh, they're starting a new Kabbalah class. Look it up. Uh, so I went to that event. Hey, Walter, how are you? It's great to have you share this out. So this morning I was sitting and I do my um, spiritual ritual every morning. And I read a couple of things. Hi, Ronald. It's great to have the men in the house. Share this out. You know, when you read these spiritual things, sometimes they stop, you stop and say, hmm, okay. So one of the books that I read from, it's a daily uh, affirmation book by Marianne Williams. I don't know if you know of Marianne Williams. Marianne Williams is actually a Course in Miracles teacher. She belongs to that whole area of Course in Miracles. And if you haven't heard about the Course in Miracles, I suggest you read it. It's like a Bible that was sent down to these this woman, channeled through this woman and her husband or friend wrote it all down. And then they, of course, edited it. It's got some plain and simple life tools that have put me in a place where pretty much nothing outside of me affects me. Hey, Rolita, Tina, Karen, it's great to have you guys here. Hey, Bridget, haven't seen you in a long time. Happy New Year to all of you. Share out. So when you read these things, when you first begin to read like the Course in Miracles, just like the Bible, a lot of things are confusing to you. You don't quite understand them. But as you read them every day, like my grandmother used to do, read the Bible every day of her life, they begin to give you insight. Insight. At first, you can't really wrap your head around it. And then the more you do it, the plainer it gets. The message becomes clearer and you understand. So Marianne Williams goes around and teaches the Course in Miracles. In fact, she has a Tuesday night program live from New York every Tuesday night. But if you look at the Course in Miracles or you look up her page on um, Facebook, she has all that information on it, Mary Ann Williams. And I put it in the description. So the message for today was there is nothing wrong with money. Eternal abundance produces external abundance. Purity does not mean absence of cash. It means that you desire money to be in your life to whatever extent and in whatever way it would serve God's purpose. Let's talk about that. Do you understand what? I know, Roly, I love her too. I actually met her a couple of years ago. She was in Virginia doing a Course in, Mes a Course in Miracles session. She's an amazing woman. Um, she comes to Unity quite often, at least once a year, to talk. And so we meet her there. I really love her. So look her up. Look up the Course in Miracles. And don't put it down because you actually can go online to amc.com. A-M-I-C, of course, in miracles.com. And you can actually download um, and listen to each message each day. And sometimes, like I said, in the beginning, you won't understand a word that they're saying. But as they go through the explanation, you get, it becomes clearer. But anyway, this message, I like the first state, statement. Um, 
there is nothing wrong with money. Money is just an energy. It's a force that you bring into your life. Some of us go out every day, and of course, we work for eight hours, but we have our own business, and we do all that to get money. And reality is, I like to tell people, God is the source of my infinite supply of money and everything. God is the source of my infinite supply. Everything and everybody prospers me now. So yes, I go out to work three hours every every day, once a week. But it's not the job that gives me the money. It's the God in me that produces the energy to get up and do what I need to do to bring in the money. Money is just an energy. And the more you think about it in prosperity, and the next line, I'm getting ready to go into it. Prosperity is an internal thing. If you think you're prosperous, then out, out, out of you or the external around you will bring abundance in the force of money. Money just appears. When you say you want it, not want it, you desire it, it comes. It may be a gift. It may be a return. It may be uh, something that was owed to you. Money is just energy. It is nothing to fret about. When I look at my wallet, I used to be the person that when I didn't see money in my wallet, it upset me. I felt some kind of way. I can walk around for days, weeks, months with no cash in my in my wallet. And partly because that dollar is not worth the diddly squat. So it doesn't bother me if it's in my wallet or not. But I have learned some diff things differently. I use money for God's purpose. And I also understand that I am made in God's image. So I am a little G. I am that God walking on earth. So if I get all upset about not having something that man made, such as dollar bills, something's wrong with that picture. Something's wrong with that picture. And I had to come to that in my mind. And I hope that you eventually come to that because people worry about the fact that they don't have money. But if you look about the fact that you get anything you want, even though you don't have money, you eat, you have some place to sleep. And yes, it may have taken money, but sometimes it's not that. It's your energy of wanting to be abundant. Your energy of being yourself, seeing yourself as being abundant. And what does that feel like? That For me, it feels like I never have to worry about anything. Abundance comes to me. I speak it and it appears just as God did. He said, let there be light and there was. Energy, energy, energy is everything. And if you put out, if you, if you think you broke, guess what? The energy is gonna replace it with being broke. If you say I don't have no, I have any money, guess what? The energy is not going to come back to you. It is going to come back to you with nothingness. Every thought in my head is a prayer and every word out of my mouth is a prayer, a decree to the universe to give me more. You know, there's, there's a movie called Yes, Please. No, thank you. It is nothing but energy. Dollar bills or paper pressed together, painted green, and they have this, in God we trust. But how many of us really trust in God? God is the source of my infinite supply. Infinite supply. That means everything that I need comes from the source. How it happens is I can put some action in it but it comes from the source. 
I desire money. I don't say I want money because as long as I say I want, I'm going to keep wanting. I desire more, please. Thank you. I desire more, please. Remember, everything is energy. So if you're thinking positive, then you're on the right path. If every word out of your mouth is, I don't, I want, what if? All those negative words produce negative out external actions. What do you desire? Think about it. Mark your words. Listen to yourself. Listen to your brain. What kind of what 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 kind of things are you telling your subconscious? I'm broke. And the subconscious believes exactly what you say. They don't, it doesn't have any negative or positive. So from the subconscious, it goes into the conscious mind. If you always tell your subconscious that you're broke, guess what? Your conscious mind is going to believe that. Guess what? Your external being energy is going to bring that to you. What are you saying to yourself? If you don't do anything, and this, I had to learn this. I learned that be cautious of a couple of things. One, what comes into my head, what I think, and what I say. This year, last year was a year of abundance. This year is going to be a greater year of abundance because I am practicing exactly more of what I did last year. No matter what goes on, I refuse to not say thank you. I just refuse to do that. <laughs> Her grandma, Rolita says her grandma used to say, mock your words. You saw her at Unity too? You were here in D.C. or you saw her at home? Yeah, I am. Little G. Little G. Yeah. And just as he said and made things happen, we can do the same thing. That's called being in, in alignment with spirit. So let me tell you what happened to me today. So they're offering this course online in Kabbalah One. Kabbalah is a spiritual practice too. So I have an address and I put the address in and the Uber driver couldn't find the address. He left me at um, Duke Ellington School. Because he didn't want to take me where I wanted to go. And I kept telling him, we're in the wrong place. But he refused. So I got out and I texted him saying, um, you know, he dropped me off where I, that wasn't the address. So then I called another Uber driver. Me was at seven. And he actually took me exactly where I needed to go. He said, you have the wrong address. I told him where the hotel was. He said, oh, that's the wrong address. Let me take you to the hotel. That's probably where the meeting is. And he took me. And he didn't charge me because it went all, all over off of their ride. But even if he had charged me, I would have been all right with that. Because he went way out of his way to make sure that I got where I was supposed to get. That's called abundance. One person didn't, and I didn't get upset. I just said, thank you, God. I got somewhere safely that was well lit, and let's start all over again. Determination. I was determined to go to that meeting. And even though I missed the meeting, I got a free book for coming. And information about it. That's called abundance. That's called commitment. That's called persistence. So how are you in your life right now? Are you committed to do something different this year? Or are you still complaining about the fact that you have no money? Or so you think. That you need more income. And I happen to have some very good people in my life. When I do need cash or I feel that I have to get a little extra. 
I have people that could, will give that to me too. Abundance. So life is good. Life is very well. Let's say Michael Beckwith says life is good and, and all is well. Catherine Ponder says, God, God, uh, God is the source of my unlimited supply. Everything and everybody prospers me now. What are you saying out of your mouth? So if you're interested in doing what I did last year and, and I'm doing this year, we have a, a golden Bitcoin class. <clears throat> that is real full, full right now. So it's a six weeks class. You learn about gold, what is currency. You learn about Bitcoins, how to do wallets and, and uh, trading and all of that online, on Zoom, one night a week. You have access to homework, videos, uh, questions, and all of that. And it's free. All you have to do is sign up and be coached by me or one of the other team members. And uh, I teach you what I did. Last year, uh, as of close, I have 42 grams of gold. I have actually had made about $3,000 in, in Bitcoins, um, all of which I used to enhance my gold business. I am grateful. Because not only did I, was I introduced when I asked for some help, I needed some help to make more money. I wanted to build, and I didn't really want to make more money. I wanted to build my wealth in an easy peasy way. And this came up, the Golden Bitcoin Bootcamp. We started with eight people. We now have over 92 people in our class this session, and this is about our fifth class session. The next class starts on March 12th. If you're interested, I did put the link in there so that you can contact me, but you know me. You can contact me and message me if you want to find out more information. I am available. However, I am going, hey, James, I am going to, uh, oh, Carolyn goes in. I'm looking at um, Leona Tate from uh, New Orleans. I got some nice people here. Baby Daniel's here. Carolyn Hamilton, I am grateful to see you. And it doesn't matter how much money you think you don't have, because I never really thought I didn't have enough, but I figured out how to do this. And I was only, I'm retired. And I was only using like my retirement in the beginning. Retirement. And then other things showed up. And then other monies came. It's amazing what happened when I started paying myself just like I do in tithing at the church and, and offering at the church. I started paying me first. And then my money, my retirement, started lasting me to the end of the month and plus. It's amazing. Being more than enough, having more than enough, doing more than enough. I am enough. And all the funds that come to me are enough and more. I am God walking. Just as he manifests, so can I, so can you. But you have to trust, you have to have faith, trust, and belief. It's a process. Beyond a doubt, I trust the fact that all that I desire will appear in some way, some form, or some fashion. I am Rosa J, doing it God's way each and every day. And thank you for listening. I hope this touched you or gave you something to think about. Or maybe you want to find out about our gold and Bitcoin class. Whatever you desire, you can actually ask me any question whatsoever. So I may see you the, this in the next couple of days. I am actually going to a convention. So I will be 
in Las Vegas for a couple of days. And I'll be shooting in off of my phone because I refuse to take my computer. And we'll see what happens. Be blessed. Tune in for the next series of Let's Talk. Namaste.